Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today we show how to craft a version of American Girl's Pac-Man arcade game that has a working light-up sign and can hold an iPad, phone or other device so your doll can really play along. Shout out to YouTuber Snapping Turtle since this is her favourite part of Courtney's collection and to Lee and the AG community for requesting this tutorial. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and subscribe to help our channel grow. So, let's get making! We cut our pieces from foam board, but you can also build this arcade machine from thick cardboard. You need the base, back wall, two side walls, top lid, an internal shelf and front wall. You may wish to pause the screen for our cut list. Take all but the internal shelf and paint them yellow. For speed, we used yellow gloss spray paint. To make a template for the side walls, start with a rectangle of poster board that is 45 by 16.5 centimeters. Measure 26 centimeters from the base, then draw a horizontal line. Below the line, mark a right angled triangle that is 3 cm long and 1.5 cm wide. We want to cut all this area out. Switching to the top now, measure down 2 cm and mark a horizontal line 11.5 cm from the right side. Above the line we want to make an arch, so we traced around a breakfast bowl. The last step is to connect the two lines. You want to draw a gentle curve as seen on screen. Cut away the rest. Now we have our side wall that is scaled to fit our 18 inch dolls. On 5mm black foam board, cut the remaining pieces. You will need a light box frame, light box floor, game screen and lower panel. To cover the exposed foam core, cut 1cm wide strips of orange poster board and glue on. Next, position your back and side walls to gauge the incline of the game screen. Just below the screen, you want to make a rectangle that is long and wide enough to fit your device. Cut it out. Now we can begin assembling the arcade. Line up from the bottom, then attach the left side wall to the back wall. We used liquid glue so we had some wiggle room, but you can also use hot glue. Following this, glue in the base piece. To position the internal shelf, insert your device through the slit we cut earlier. Position and mark where it needs to go, then glue into place. Next, measure 5.5 cm from the top of the back wall, mark, then glue in the light box floor. Pop the frame on top. To make a working light up sign, we took plastic packaging and printed out a Pac-Man logo. This was easy to find, just Google Pac-Man Arcade Game Images. Simply trace over the image with permanent markers. The shapes are really easy to copy. Since it's hard to see yellow marker as you colour in, Slip a piece of white computer paper underneath your plastic. Keep going till all the image is finished. Trim your packaging to fit behind the frame. You can affix it with tacky glue or strong double sided tape. Ok, let's paint the gaming area black. You also want to paint inside the light box. Even though black is heavily pigmented, we still need to do a few coats for full coverage. We are ready to attach the right side wall. For the top lid, we made a paper hinge by cutting paperboard to the same length and scoring a 1cm tab. This will allow us to access inside the light box. Adhere just the tab to the exposed foam board of the back wall. Here we placed a battery operated string of fairy lights inside the box. We have covered it with white plastic from an old shopping bag to diffuse the light. When the lights are off, the sign really glows. And it looks good when the lights are on too. Onto the game screen. At the bottom, leave a band that is 4cm high. Then cut a rectangle from the remaining piece that is the right size for your device. Make the console dials and trim from scraps of cardstock. Here, we took the knob from a toy dresser to use as a joystick. These round tokens are from a mini Connect 4 game. They will make great buttons. Here we screenshot then printed off an image of the rules for the side panels. To give these panels extra pop, 
Use a toothpick or small stylus tool and paint to make the classic Patman dots in yellow and red. You can go all out with bits and bobs from your crafting stash or just keep it simple and glue on print offs from the internet. Let's put on the front wall, followed by the gaming screen. It's important that the corner of the screen lines up with the peak on the side wall. You also want to ensure the game screen sits above the slit in the back wall. Take the lower panel and glue under the game screen on a matching angle to the side wall. We put heavy cans on top to keep everything in place while it dries. If you don't want to use a device as part of this craft, you can always print and paste a Pac-Man picture on the black foam board. Then reinsert this rectangle back into the game screen. For those finishing touches, we have used more cardstock and buttons to make a coin slot. Next, print out or draw the Pac-Man graphics seen on the front and side walls. Adhere with glue. It's optional, but you can add a layer of gloss Mod Podge to protect the paper from rips and peels. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to Always Dolls for more miniature crafting fun. You got this, Joss! Go, Joss! Yay! Thanks for watching!